Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It is I, Gonzal, and welcome back to the series where today we are going to take off the Dark Tower because in the time between the last episode and now, I have built the tower, which I have aptly named due to the uh, size and shape of the structure, the cobble drop. So this is actually where we'll be doing a lot of our mob farm. Well, not much of our mob farming, but some of our mob farming. That way we can at least get some of the XP we need. But nope, that was something that just took a little too long to just make a video about. And it was a bit too long to include in the video, so I did that off camera. It was a pain. A lot of cobblestone. A lot and a lot of cobblestone. But what I'm actually going to be focusing on today is that we have a lot of gear that we need to prepare. There we are. And in order to prepare our gear to the best of our abilities, we actually have to make sure that we can get ourselves some enchantments. And the best enchantment we can get, which we cannot get, is mending. So what we're going to need to do is use down here. I expanded this out because I forgot I added that, so I need to fix that. But no, what we need to do is that we have ourselves villagers. We need to use the villagers to create a... Uh, oh. Hello, uh, can you folks breed? Is that what I'm hearing? I think you take like 16 carrots or something. I don't know. Is that enough carrots? Anyways, it's, uh, yeah, with that out of the way though, uh, what we need to actually do is start getting ourselves a, uh, converter. A villager converter system. So I need to first trap a zombie. Uh, I do have name tags, so we can do that much at least. But as for the other part, I'm going to need to actually learn how to do that. So uh, give me a minute as I look up some plans and start um, building a converter system. So we can get ourselves some better enchantments. I should probably move this somewhere. Okay, I took a minute to look up a review for a villager converter system. And this one seemed to be a very... Uh, very simple but effective way to do it. Uh, there is a link to the creator, a civilian, down below. So if you want to try and make it for yourself, you can check it out there. But uh, yeah, I've still got to trap a zombie inside so I can actually get this thing up and running. As well as next to the uh, pens down below for more villagers. And I think actually doing so I'll get just regular plains villagers. So that's going to be interesting. But yeah, I've also got to... Uh, hmm. Probably work on adding a few more farms because I do have potatoes and sheep to add to my collection and a beetroot, I think. Uh, yeah, beetroot. So while I wait for night, I'm going to do that and see how that turns out. Night has fallen, therefore it is time to work. So let's see, I've got back here. Let's see. What mighty name shall we give this zombie? Uh, Paul. That will be the name of our zombie. And right now, what I need to do is get myself a zombie. So we can put it inside the chamber. Okay, when I was looking for a zombie, I was not expecting an actual horde. Uh, this might take... Oh, jeez. Okay, this might take a minute. Okay. You are the chosen one. You are the Paul. And now I'm going to sleep because I am not dealing with this anymore. Right. Radio, Paul's trapped inside. We have our... Oh, I should probably take this down. I'll likely convert this into a building so it doesn't look out of place. But I also cleared out the fields over here. Definitely a... Uh... Definitely an improvement. Definitely going to put the potatoes and the beetroots there so I can have myself a full line of crops. And, ooh! All the, all the pumpkins are grown. That, this looks actually very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. But enough of that. Right now, what I need to do is get these rails up and running. So what I'm going to do is, uh, dig my way Oh. Okay, I am exactly where I want to be, technically, so I'm just going to keep going 
down. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's gonna work out. It's okay. Um, hmm. Gonna have to figure this out somehow. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to rework this wiring. So, full disclosure, the original design I had didn't exactly work with the way I was getting the villages back up to the surface, so I had to use a different one, which both the link of the one I, I used originally and a link to the one I used now has been provided in the comments, but I have now built myself a building which will house our converter. So we have our nice little villager friend there. Got our way down below. I'll improvise this later, but yeah. What I do need to do, though, is take what I have gathered so far. Myself some carrots. Definitely get myself some food. Uh, did I grab all the carrots? No, I thought I grabbed the... Okay. Yes, I need to eat some carrots and get myself over to the smelter, actually. Well, not the smelter, to the alchemy lab for once. We are finally using it for what it was intended to be used for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these bottles that I prepared previously, and I'm actually going to use them now. Shockingly. Uh, okay, need to work on that stairwell. Okay, so what we need to do is first. There we are. Need to plop in some potions there. Potions there. Putting a laser rod there. A blaze powder. All right, and then we'll use the fermented spider eye. And ferment spider eye. There we are. Gonna brew, and then we will get ourselves potion of weakness. So I should probably get the rest of my stuff prepared so that once we leave, we'll be on our way. Okay, so that oh, this one I had made potions previously, but I guess not. Right. So with that said, potion time. Hopefully they. Hopefully he hasn't despawned, because I'm not sure what the timer is, and I should have had this all prepared beforehand. But I was busy trying to get a system in place so that I can actually do this. So, okay, let's see. Yes, for you. And... There we are. Paul, you can stay in your little chamber. Okay. And you will convert. And I will get myself a new worker. Hopefully a good worker. So I should probably... First I should probably get a door to this place, but I should also probably see he stays in the minecart. So I'm just going to stick around until it's done. Oh, brilliant. Okay, I, was... I actually had forgotten how long it took to actually... Uh... Actually get these guys bread. Or not bread, uh, cured. So, ooh, actually it took long enough for me to go tonight. So I'm going to sleep. And in the morning, I'm going to have myself a wonderful new addition to the team. So what I first need to do is get myself a um, bookshelf. Need a bookshelf. No, oh, better yet, I need a lectern. Uh, lectern, lectern. I'll find a lectern. Okay, librarian. What do you got to trade? Ooh. Not a bad trade. Not a bad trade. Uh, you stay there, and I will get you some trading materials. Okie dokie, so I have myself a nice little farmer. Okay. What do you trade? Ooh. Empty potatoes. You know, that is not actually a bad deal. The only problem is I don't have potato farm. So I need to make a potato farm. But yeah, we've got our villager breeder pretty much set up. So now all we have to do is just on occasion take this out. Now. I forget you actually hurt. But yeah, let's uh let's put in another one. Okay. So once I use a bit more of the bone meal, I should be able to at least Get myself started on that farm, or not farm, farmer. 
and get myself a few emeralds. So now, once I start getting everything else set up, I will be able to get myself some better enchantments. So you there. Give me your goods. Oh. I... Hmm... I could have sworn you gave potatoes. Oh no, that's be Ah, I broke it, that's right. So now... I guess I need to be farming myself some potatoes. Or not potatoes, carrots. This is gonna come in handy. Okay, you've been given new trades and- Ooh! Alright. That's good. So now we're getting emeralds, so now we'll be able to get ourselves some better books. But, with that said though, I think we've really wrapped up all we can on what we need to do before we fight the end dragon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start nether farming, get myself some fully kitted out nether gear, get myself those mending books eventually, and then I guess we're going to kill the dragon. First things first, as you can see, I have fully kitted myself out in netherite armor. Uh, the armor isn't fully enchanted though, so that is a small problem. But what I have done is that I have actually gotten myself pretty well off in terms of materials. Uh, yeah, I should probably finish. I should probably fix the shovel. Boom. All right, I can now officially say all of my gear is a uh, one hundred percent netherite. I think. Uh, yeah. Yeah, all of it's netherite. What I do need, though, is to make myself a shield. Do I have any spare iron by itself? Uh, I'm going to enchant that later. Uh, no time for that. So what I'm going to do is show you what I've been working on in the meantime. I currently have myself some golden carrots, which I'll munch on real quick to get some hunger. Of course, we do have our enchanting all here, which we'll be looking to in a little bit. And as always, we do have the wonderful converter that we built just before the cut, which uh, is currently in limbo. You have you, which I was going to work on. Let's see, you don't exactly give a good. Oh, we'll use that for later. So right, 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 right. So what we do have is this which is the trading hall. And what do they trade? We trade with librarians. And I believe this one here is the most important one because I got mending. Didn't actually realize I got mending from him until a while ago. So I actually, I got all these eight of these guys in thinking I had nothing when in fact it was, uh, I think they were like my second or third villager I put in. Any who's it's, yeah, so yeah. Got that sorted out, but what I'm doing right now is I am going to establish the fact that we have a dragon to kill. So what I'm going to do now is, uh, first off, I'm going to name that horse, because we've had that horse for ages, and we still have not named it. Nor do we actually have a name for our dog, so we're going to fix that right now. Okay, we have successfully gotten ourselves uh, 30 levels, as well as decently good enchantments, which is definitely going to help out. Uh, what we do have, though, is a bow, which, for the meantime, is actually what we do need, because we need a bow to work on the dragon. So let's see if we can actually get ourselves a pretty decent bow. Okay. All right. Flame. Okay. Okay. How good is it? How good is it? That is that is a that is a pretty good bow. I, I can work with that. Okay, so uh, I still have. Why do I? Oh yeah, because I was doing leveling. So yeah, what I do need to do is start actually getting myself geared up. So we're gonna deposit the books there. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. We will only take what we need. Uh, we'll take the shovel just in case. Um, okay. Okay. We're we're. We're getting close to the end, folks. What I do need to do is start making myself some ench... No, not enchanting. Uh, potions, yes. Potions are what we need. 
Potions are definitely what we need, so we can actually start, uh... Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, yeah. You, uh... You are now Bolt. That is the name of our dog. Okay, let's let's get this done quickly. Uh, look at the sea. Nope. Uh, what do I need? Uh, no, no. Uh, that's an empty map. Nope. Okay. Um, what am I looking for? What am I looking for? Uh, no apples. No, nope, that's not what I need. Uh, okay. Hold on. I'm in a panic state. Uh, just uh, give me one second. I've calmed down quite a bit. Uh, I've left the panic, so I've gotten what I need done. I've made myself some splash potions, which will help me out with the dragon. Got myself some strength pots, which I'll use in the battle to become the dragon slayer. Got myself some water, golden apples. Hunted some of the wild chickens around here to get some more feathers because I desperately needed some of those because I actually have no way of actually getting myself more arrows. So I had to uh, go out and forage some uh, wild some wild uh, chickens to get some feathers. Yep, we have nearly a full stack of arrows. Hopefully that's going to be enough. And of course, we are going to take our trusty steed, Randall. That is his name. That is who he shall be. And is there anything else? Bolt, uh, you stay here. Is there anything else I might want to take? Uh, I'll take that because I can use sticks. And is there any spare wood? There is not. There's actually fence. Uh, that's actually better, so we'll take that. Uh, we do have the Eyes of Ender. Yeah, I think I have everything I need. So, uh, random. Nope. That's not what we need. Randall, uh, I say it's time. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time. We are going to fight the end dragon. And actually, no, we need two things. We need a lever. I'll probably need to make. And I'll need a piston. For what everyone knows, uh, well... It's uh, quite obvious what I need the piston and the lever for, so give me one second. Okay, you're here. I'm hungry. And I have my pearls. So, how? Oh, well, not pearls. Okay. Okay, actually, I have enough. So, one, two, three. Four, five, six. Ooh. Why is the texture gone all wonky? Oop. Anyways, got all we need, so. Ah, there's the bow. Okay, bow. Axe, sword, cobblestone, golden apples, and okay, kanatha. Prep this ahead of time. Not gonna need that off the bat. Okay. I think we have everything. Okay. All right. Here we go.
Now that... That was a close one. First things first, gather all the XP. And, uh... Okay. Right, so first things first. Uh... Uh... Aha. All right. All righty. We did it. We got the Ender Dragon, which I think is quite impressive. So, we've done it. We've beaten 1.17. So now, as we jump into this portal, 1.18 will be the future. So, I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you've had a wonderful time with us. Next time we'll be in 1.18, so you'll be seeing a lot of different content, more tutorials and stuff of that nature, probably. I'm not quite sure, but I'm glad I was able to finish this with all of you watching. So, if you've enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and comment down below. And if you're feeling extra generous, why not hit that subscribe button down below as well. I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, bid you all adieu.